Mark is a media student at Wigan and Lee, but his real passion is in music. When we asked Mark to describe himself in one word, he just said, Mint. Well, I wanted to do music originally, but my audition was sabotaged. Um, so I started a band instead. This is Pete. Paul. Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul. Yeah. We've known each other for about three hours. Uh, three, three hours, yeah, three hours. Sounds right, yeah. Yeah, about So when did you guys meet? Um, well, I was on my way to lesson. Whoa, and, um, don't undersell it, Pete. Paul. Paul. Don't undersell it, Paul. Um, sorry, it was, it was, it was destiny. Felt a bit sorry for him, really. <laughs> and then you said, but what was it that you said? What did you... Can't remember. Um, and that how, that's how the uh, eagle was born. You are aware the Eagles are already a band, right? What? Drama student Dave has been at the college for four years. In that time, he's auditioned for over 200 of the college's theatrical productions, none of which has been successful. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Quite nervous. But I think I've got a really good chance of getting it. We'll see you now, Dave. Wish me luck. Okay, um, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, what's your name and what role will you be auditioning for? My name is Dave Whimbelo and I will be auditioning for the role of Dandy Sam. No, Dave, it's fat. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> no, no, Dave, this, this isn't Scarface, it's Bugsy Mulder. Are you talking to me? Are you? Talking to me? It's a musical, Dave. Oh. Sam. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. Mwah! I'll get you, my free. And you're a little dog, too. Yeah. <laughs> Over the rainbow. No, stop, 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 stop. You're not exactly what we're looking for for this production. Okay. Oh. Sitcom fanatic Steve has been studying film for two years at Wigan, but he continues to be held back due to his unhealthy obsession. I got into sitcoms when I was around five or six. My parents used to leave me alone a lot. So I was raised by the television instead. Mainly friends and a bit of that 70s show. <laughs> Classic Eric. Steve has described his obsession as a mental disorder, stating that he even hears a laughing track when him and his friends are talking. And I said, you best not put that thing near me. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Mark invited us along to rehearsal for the Eagles, now called Flock of Seagulls. Hey mate, why don't you let me uh, show my... Um, this is a song I wrote for my dog that um, sadly passed away when I was eight. Fluffles, so I knew she fluffles. How I loved she fluffles. You were such a good dog. We're hoping to get a record deal soon, uh, but it's all about who you know. But apparently, Pete's uncle works for some sh record label, and we're amazing, so. Thank you. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Is he serious? I've not a clue, mate. We caught up with Dave after his rehearsal. Let's go for a shower. Oh, how did the audition go? Well, I still think I'm in contention, but they didn't seem to be into it as much as I was. So, they just don't get my talent. None of them do. I haven't slept in four days. I'm too funny. 
every time I think funny thought, I just hear the laughter. Laughter. Mark and Paul's band, the large predatory birds, ended up breaking apart. Shortly after filming this documentary, Steve went insane due to his mental disorder. Dave was eventually found in a nearby park, crying in a bush. Can I get the part? This is how it feels to be lonely. This is how it feels to be lonely.